हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस सेकंड प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 15 हेबलर डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट फॉर प्रोटेक्शन द बैरल बैरियर इज प्लेस्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ब्रिज पायर इफ द रिलेशन बिटवीन द फोर्स एंड द डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द बेरियर इज गिवन बाय दिस इक्वेशन वेयर एक्स इज इन फीट determine the car's maximum penetration in the barrier the car has a weight of 4000 pound and it's traveling with a speed of 75 feet per second just before it hits the barrier so now when the car just hits the barrier so let's say that this car was moving so if it hits the barrier so it will be somewhere here and this barrier will be going to apply the force on the car in the opposite direction in so this will be the direction of that force of the barrier so let me represent that force f b let's say this is f b force of the barrier and the weight of this car is going to act vertically downward and that weight is given as 4000 pounds and the normal force is going to applied on this car wheels and let's say that the resultant normal force is represented by that n so now as we can see that the only external force is this fb and this fb is given as a function of the uh, this x and that x is the deflection of the barrier right so this is 90 times 10 raised to the power 3 x to the power 1 divided by 2 so now if we want to find the maximum uh, penetration in the barrier so let's say that this car travels some distance penetrates into into the barrier and travels this much distance let's say this is that x max this is x that maximum penetration so when the car reaches here when it penetrates the maximum distance so it will come to rest so this is the initial condition of the car and let's say that somewhere here when the car reaches here the barrier is compressed uh, distance of x max and then the car will come to stop so here this is our state 2 of the car so here this is state 1 and this is state 2 so at state 1 it is said that the kinetic energy is so uh, the velocity is 75 feet per second so the kinetic energy at that point will be half and the mass is 4 4000 that is the weight divided by the g value which is 32.2 times v1 so at this at this particular instant the velocity is v1 and that v1 is 75 feet per second so i will write that this is 75 square and similarly the this fb will do some work on this car and that car that work will be equal to the area under this graph right so let's say if i consider the small differential area below this f function if this f graph so the the width of this differential area which represent the work done by that force f so that will this width is dx and the height of this differential area is given by that f which is a function of x so if you want to find the total area under this curve so that total area will be calculated using the integration so we need to apply the summation of all the areas of all the differential strips so i can say that the work done due to that force f will be equal to this f times this dx and then we need to integrate this so let's say that when the car is here the x is 0 at this particular instant the initial penetration is 0 and when the car reaches here the maximum penetration is given by x max so we need to add up the area under the curve until x max so let's say that somewhere here is that x max value let's say this is that x max so now we need to add up the areas of all the such kind of differential strips from x equals to 0 until that x max so i will write that this is from 0 to x max right so this is the f is given as a function of x so i can write that 0 to 
to x max and the f is given as 90 into 10 raised to the power 3 x to the power 1 divided by 2 dx. So, now we can integrate this, this is constant. So, I will write it as outside from the integration, this is 90 into 10 raised to the power 3 and the integration of x 1 divided by 2 will be 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and divided by the, that same power. So, this is 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2. So, let me write that this is 3 divided by 2 and divided by this same power or uh, we can write it as 2 divided by 3. So, this will be 2 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to x max. So, now if I put these values, so this will be 90 divided by 3 is 30 into 10 raised to the power 3 and this is 30 into 2. So, that this will become 60. So, 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 x to the power 3 divided by 2 and if I put this x max, so this will become x max and if I put 0, so everything will become 0. So, this is the uh, the the work done by that F B force. Let me write that this is F B. So now we can and 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 at at x max at maximum penetration the the velocity of this car will become zero, so it will come to rest. So we can say that the kinetic energy at two will be equal to zero. So now we can apply the principle of work and energy. So that says that initial kinetic energy plus the summation of the work done. Uh, by the external forces from 1 to 2 will be equal to the final kinetic energy. So, T1 is given by this equation. Let me find that T1 first. So, T1 is uh, 1 divided by 2 or we can say that 4000 into 75 square divided by 2 into 32.2. So, this will give us that kinetic energy at point 0.1. So, this is uh, 349379, 349379 and this is feet pound and similarly we can write this as 349379 plus and as we can see that uh, the car is traveling is moving in this direction and that FB force is acting in the opposite direction of the distance traveled. So, this means that this work done by that uh, FB force will be negative. So, we have to subtract it, right. So, this will be plus and we will write minus this work done. This is 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 and this will be x max to the power 3 divided by 2 and this is equal to the kinetic energy at that point 2 will be equal to 0. So, I can bring this term to the other side of equation. So, we will have it as minus 3, 4, 9, 3, 7, 9. This is 3, 4, 9, 3, 7, 9 approximately. So, we will be left with this plus into minus is minus, minus sign will cancel out. So, we can say that x max the maximum penetration until the car comes to rest is equal to 349379 divided by this. This is 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 and then we need to take 2 divided by 3 power on both sides. So, this is 2 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 3. So, this will cancel out and we will be left with x max that maximum penetration. So, we can find it is 349379 divided by 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 to the power 2 divided by 3. So, that maximum penetration is equal to 3.24 feet approximately. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video and leave the comment to let me know if, if, if this content helps you in your learning.